Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm done. <laughs> Leo, it is time for your May reading for this current year. Hey. Okay. Uh, your hostess with mostess. Seems like you have a little bit of indecision going on in your mind. You're still trying to choose between two things that are of value to you, right? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, of course. It looks like you're just trying to have a, you're either trying to have a good time or you're looking to catch some booty or you're doing some spell work. One of the three. Doesn't really matter. Um, sun, moon, rising, Venus. If this resonates with you, cool beans. If not, don't worry about it. I'm also going to be doing a live stream tonight for um, everyone. I'm going to be doing a reading and then like I'll do questions if you have them. I'm not going to charge you anything, but if you want to donate five for your questions, that works for me. Uh, I just like doing this shit, really. We'll start with this one. You want to come back in from the cold after you've been left out there. Probably with an idiot. <laughs> no whammies. Oof. Oof. Excuse me. Um, Starman. Reverse in the Wants and Wishes. Oh, also, um... Excuse me, I had eggs and bacon and bells in a room. Um, if you want a personal reading... Hit me up in my email, or the Facebook page, or my Instagram. They're all down below. I wouldn't say the Twitter, because I don't know if the Twitter is connected to the one I use for this channel. Or the one where I do a lot of, like, shit talking for the fuck of it. Because I like talking shit. <clears throat> Princess of Pentacles reverse in the rejections as well as fears. The chariot in the situation... Uh, Queen of Cups, once again. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right next to the Chariot. That's their card. And what's going against you is an obstacle and challenge. And here you are, trying to take action with yourself or an Aries or a Sagittarius. With the beginning theme being like, you don't want to offer any cups. You don't want to apologize. Your cup is empty. You're done. Yeah, no. Let's see what the cards have for you. I was afraid this was going to come up. But... Oh well. Yeah. You're feeling left out in the cold and you want to come back in. And you're definitely feeling mentally trapped by this with the Eight of Swords. Like your emotions are all out of whack according to the Queen of Cups down here. So that makes sense. You're done with feeling le being left like an outsider. Then we have the chariot down here. You want to move forward in this situation. You want to ground your emotions. You want to get your feelings in the right place. You want to let your guard down. You want to be able to just relax instead of sitting there having to worry about like walking on eggshells or having to be careful. You'd rather just go in and be like charging and doing certain things because you're out in the cold. You're tired of feeling that way. The star man reverse. What you're wanting is a bad manifestation or it just isn't being manifested. Or something isn't coming to fruition the way you think it should be. And you're ready to gallop off with a fight. Say some words because things aren't going your way. Or maybe you think that like you're going to get um. Or something didn't work out with possibly an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Like, you're definitely going to verbalize that you want out of this cold and you're tired of feeling, like, mentally trapped or whatever. Like, but it's not happening for some reason. Like, it's not being manifested. It's like, there's something here that's, like, keeping you from doing so. From verbalizing it. Then we got the Queen of Cups. You guys feel like Aries does where you just want out of a relationship, but that's not coming up here. It's like something different. It's like you're alone. Like, completely, like, I, I like, I don't know, Leos. Like, I love Leos. I really do. But it's like... Hmm. I don't think this is a relationship as much as it is something different. So that 
kind of helps, but you're all out of your emotions because of a lack of commitment, possibly with a Taurus. You're, you feel emotionally out there. Maybe you're being emotionally manipulative about like not wanting to be committed anymore to something. Or maybe you're just trying to go against religious rules. Like, honestly, like, I'm not sure what the fuck this is saying, Leo. Just to be honest, like... You feel trapped. You feel left out in the cold. You feel like you want to get out of this vibration, verbalize it, go in for a charge or a fight, but it's like it's not working for you either or. It's like you're trying to have a communication, but the way you come about it is like really harsh and aggressive, like Knight of Swords. You're coming, it's like you're coming in to start a fight, but then when somebody mentions that you're doing that, like you get pissed off because you don't want to be accused of doing what it is you want to do. Like, I don't know, sometimes you Leos get really pissed off when people confront you and give you reality checks about stuff, and you get really fucking furious, which I completely understand, but it's like, you know, take a break if you need to, man. You don't have to, um, keep thinking you have to go into a fight, but it's like, you're all emotionally kerflunkled because, like, either there are things that you just don't know, or there's, like, all of your emotions are just causing you to... Feel like you can't commit. That sounds like about right. Princess of Pentacles. Um, oftentimes I call the page of Pentacles a fucking idiot with nothing good to offer. This is the fears and rejection from this person. They aren't offering anything good, anything stable. Yeah. When it comes to relationship, you feel like the offer isn't good enough for you. You feel like it's actually a um, very naive... Ignorant offer. You feel like if they're, like, she's pregnant, so you think if you do get someone pregnant, it's not going to work out. And the catalyst as well as the final result. Prince of Wands, right? He's wanting to take action, wanting to charge head, but also wanting to get in the booty call. But there's a tower moment here. It's like if you do take action, the illusion's going to come down. Like, I really feel like someone's under some illusion. Because, you know, that's what the Eight of Swords is describing here. It's like somebody's fucking with your head and causing you to feel like you are mentally trapped or something. And it's this whole desire to get out of this place of the cold to come back into the warm. But it's like your brain is kerflunkled and it's causing it to affect your relationships with people i feel like it's making you feel like you constantly have to defend yourself when you really don't like you want to sit here and, and, and go to battle about this shit to verbalize or you're waiting for possibly an air sign to come verbalize to you and let me tell you um if you try a silent treatment on an air sign especially fucking aquarius they'll just let you go like, if anybody um, invented the silent treatment, it was Aquarius. And then Capricorn took it and perfected it. And then Gemini was just like, I just won't do it the way you guys do it. And then, like, they go and do it anyway. And then it's just like, what the fuck? That's not what I'm doing. But, you know, that's beside the point. What's the ending theme here? But I feel like if you do take action, it's going to um, fuck up some illusion that's already been there. Like, somebody already is here. You're right here, still floating in this illusion. And you're wanting to take action to run away from it, but it's like, can you run away from the tower? It's like you don't want something to happen. But as soon as you take off, that's when the tower is going to fall. Like, just because you remove yourself doesn't mean that the tower isn't going to happen. That just means you're delaying the inevitable. Um, like, if the tower was reversed right here, I would say that you're actually avoiding the tower and delaying it. But no, it's saying if you take action, the tower will fall. You will get a truth moment right quick as soon as you go to leave or as soon as somebody goes to leave. It doesn't even have to be you. Um, the ending theme. Look at this. This is Aries card. The Emperor reverse. It's like someone is being too much of a bully and not giving enough of a fuck to offer their cup. They're being um, controlling. They're being demanding. Possibly abusive, but I hope not when it comes to their love. Probably playing mind games of sort as well. 
Which is really fucked up if that's you, Leo, but I hope that's not you. You could be dealing with an Aries who isn't being fair to you and is playing head games. <clears throat> and let me tell you, my husband is in this a little bit. But I don't think I got nothing to worry about. All the rest of you, I don't know. Because this is like, like part of this is his. Because the fears of rejection, that's definitely his. Everything else, though, I don't know. But I feel like someone's really trying to control how they give out their cup. But they, but they don't even have anything in their cup. And it's making them bitter and angry and shit. Yeah, lovers reverse. Definitely a separation of two people. Possibly Gemini. I was mentioning Gemini. I, think. I mean, it's not like everybody isn't here. Everybody's here on the board. <sighs> These cards, I'm probably going to switch them out because they are acting quite aggressive today. And I don't know why. What's the third card, please? Thank you. Oh, two cards. Okay. Yeah, you feel like you want to end things, definitely, in all of this. However, like I said, as soon as you go, that's when the tower is going to fall, this illusion or whatever. Like, and I'm one, starting to wonder if you thinking that, like, you not offering his cup is the right thing to do because it is making you a bit bitter. It is making you be, like, a very, very um, aggressive, especially if you're embodying this emperor right here. If not, this is somebody else. But it's like, as soon as this person takes off, they are going to be plagued. If they aren't already. It's like... Hmm. It is like... Someone is so obsessed with what's going on in their life that it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like, they're so worried about, like, this shit offer in this relationship and taking off away from the tower so nothing happens that they don't realize that they're causing their own tower. But they don't know how to execute any of this, so it's just kind of like, hmm... I don't know. But that's all for you, Leos. I hope to see you later on tonight, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.